Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can turn an L into a collage. Now, what you need first is a sheet of black paper. Okay, because we've just learnt that owls are nocturnal, that they come out at night time and that's when they do their hunting. Now, either with a white crayon or a white pencil, I want you to draw a big circle for its head. and then a bigger circle for its belly. Now you can see there, boys and girls, it's a bit like a snowman, okay? Now don't worry if you have to keep doing it to get it right because you're going to be collaging over it, which means that you're going to be cutting and gluing paper on top of this black background. So even if you have to do it a couple of times, it's going to be covered. You're going to get some brown strips and some orange strips and what we're going to do is with our scissors we're going to cut those strips into triangles so if you watch how I do this one I cut it like that turn it and I cut it like that and I'm going to cut the whole strip to make triangles and these triangles are going to be feathers So there we are, nice geometric shapes there. And the same with orange, so that your owl is not going to be completely brown, he's going to have a combination of brown and orange. So once I've got these cut, I'm going to demonstrate to you then how you're going to glue them on to your owl's body first. So I'll just pop those to the side there, so I've got them ready. Now, get a glue stick. Now, depending on how fast you are, because glue, the glue will dry really quickly, you could do a big area in glue. So smear it on inside the circle around the edge. I'm going to show you just half so far. You can see there where I've put my glue on. Now I want you to point, put the points downwards like that. Okay, set them on. Add on a bit more glue when you're overlapping. This is where you need to start overlapping so that none of that black background shows through. And you don't want to show any of the white lines either. So if you go round where you've got the glue, lay it down, and keep doing that until you've got the whole body filled. And then you're going to do the same with the head keep putting it down. When you find that you're getting to some paper that is dry, it's got no glue on it, just rub it on. Don't worry that it's purple because it will dry clear. Okay? And bit by bit, fill up those two circles with the points going downwards so that it gives it that real feathery effect. You're going to continue that until you get to this stage, till the whole thing is filled. Now it's missing a few things. It needs a beak, it needs eyes, it needs feet or claws and it needs a branch to be sitting on. So same thing, going to get yourself a strip of yellow, cut a triangle and there you've got a beak. So I'm going to pop that on first. Okay, there's my beak. I'm also going to use my glue stick and I'm going to trace around my glue stick and make a couple of circles, okay? And those are going to be the background for my eyes. So I'm going to cut those out. So you trace round the glue stick on your yellow strip. So there you're getting the eyes and the beak. So nice scissor control, go around. Okay. Make a little bit more rounder. There's one eye. And let me just do this one here. Go round and round. So there we are. Another eye. I'm going to glue that down. Get my googly eyes. Glue that down. And there. 
Then you're going to get a piece of green paper and you can draw just a wavy branch, just like that. Just looks like a funny hand. Cut it out. Okay. And again, just glue it down. So he's sitting on something. And then if you just do a couple of triangles, Just do another one there. And he's got his claws holding on. And there you go, boys and girls. You've just made yourself an owl collage. Now it's your turn. Let's make some art.